Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to uh, do a IK rig setup for the hand. Uh, we have already seen how to do the basic IK rigging and animation of a hand. This is a more advanced uh, hand rigging option. So you can see that there are selection handles. And this is the main selection handle for the arm which can be moved. Uh, this is, once this is moved up, we have the elbow control, so you can control the elbows. We also have control for the shoulder, so you can move the shoulder. And if you look at this one here, when we rotate the wrist, it rotates the arm as well like a real arm would do okay so we will look at how to create this rig uh, from scratch all right so i will open the hand model and i will attach the link to the tutorial where i showed you how to model the hand all right so now that the hand is there, I have created a layer for the hand and you can hide and hide the hand. I'll go in the wireframe and the side view and notice that my hand is exactly in the center of the screen. So when I add the bones, the bones go exactly in the center. So you have to make sure that uh, when you are doing the rigging, the bones are placed exactly in the center of the object. So uh, I'll start creating the bones. So I'll go to skeleton, create joint, and I'll create one joint at the beginning here. And I will try to create an offset. So go a little to the right for the elbow. I can zoom in there and then click on the wrist here. And then I'll need one for the fingers. Fingers can start here that will be the finger joint and I'll hit enter so that is done and now we'll create bone for the thumb so go to skeleton create joint start from the wrist then we'll come here go in the middle here and in the end hit enter all right so that's how our basic joint is and for the rotation uh, for example now when you rotate only the wrist is rotating but we want the arm to rotate as well so if you look at your hand when you rotate your wrist uh, your forearm rotates as well and this is not happening here so what we need to do is i can hide the model for a while now we need to add one more joint here so i can go to skeleton and this time i'm going to use not create but insert joint then you can click and drag and then insert a joint in the middle somewhere okay so that's our basic uh, bone setup now it's time to rename the bone uh, it's good to open the wind outliner and then see what you have got so you have joint one joint two joint three joint nine joint three four five six seven and eight so we need to rename all of these the first one we will call it upper arm and when i'm renaming these joints i will not use any space and uppercase okay so to keep things simple so the second one is lower arm joint nine i will call it forearm joint three is my hand you can also click on the joint itself and this is going to be finger the last one is going to be a limit finger end then i have this is hand again so this one is thumb one this one is 
come to and the last one is thumb end okay so i will unhide my mesh select the mesh shift select the join go to skin and bind skin so yeah, go to shading you can see that the arm is moving the wrist is working i'm not going to do the skinning part this is only the raking part here but you can do the skinning if you want so you can see that the wrist is only rotating unrealistically so we'll fix this thing so our hand is done now we can back, go back and hide the hand now uh, it is time to add the inverse kinematic ik handle so if you go to skeleton create ik handle you want to create the ik handle from here till here okay uh, so this is how the hand is going to move but we want the ik handle pivot point here uh, so you cannot uh, change the pivot point of the ik handle directly but if you look at uh, there's an effector and this effector is going to be moved to the wrist so i'll hit the insert key on the keyboard i'll hit the v key and drag this down to there and now the ik handle is moving from the wrist but it is not bending this point here okay <clears throat> so our ik handle is created now now we will i will unhide this uh, just for a second now we'll create control for our shoulder elbow and the wrist the first one is for the shoulder i'll simply move it here try to align it somewhere here select this bone shift select this and simply hit parent and that will move the entire hand okay <clears throat> now i will create the elbow so I'll create a circle, move the circle up to the right, I will rotate it 90 degrees, by the way all these should be zeroed out so you can go to modify freeze transformation, edit unparent, modify freeze transformation, Edit unparent modify freeze transformation. Okay, then I will parent it. Okay, so we need all these to be zero. And with this one i'm going to change the shape of this so i'll go to control vertex select these scale it inside so it looks a little different something like this is good okay if you want to change the size make it a little smaller so we want this to control the elbow so i'm going to select this one first shift select the ik handle go to constraint and we are going to use pole vector so you should always go and go to edit reset settings and add it so the pole ve vector is added we will name this elbow control and modify free transformation that should have been done in the beginning but it works fine everything is zero everything is zero here and if i move the hand i can move that undo that all right now uh creating the wrist is not straightforward um, 
and I will actually do the straightforward way first. So I'll create a hand control. Okay, so this is the wrong way of doing it. I'll directly move it here. Okay. And we need to control our IK with this. So I cannot parent it directly. So you have to select this, shift select the IK and go to constraint point. Okay, again I didn't go to modify freeze transformation. This is always important. Alright. So you can see that that constraint is working. And now we are not able to rotate the wrist and the wrist is also moving uh, when the arm moves which is not good so we have to select this shift select the joint we want to constraint and we need to orient the constraint so now when we rotate the wrist rotates and when I move the control the wrist stays where it is so this is a better control for the wrist now the problem is when i rotate this and this is rotate y you can see that it's not rotating from the forearm so we need to create an expression so that when this rotates the forearm rotates half of what this rotation is all right so this is called hand control this is called forearm. So we have to remember these two names. Go to window, animation editor, expression editor, and here we can say wrist rotate for the name, and we are going to say forearm dot rotate capital Y is equal to hand control dot rotate capital Y divided by 2 semicolon all right then when you click on create it is successful now when I select this and I rotate not this this you can see that the rotation is not happening correct okay so this last step doesn't work because of the way we can create this control all right so what i'll do is i'll delete that control and i'll show you the right way of creating that control so you create a circle and name it hand control and i'm going to hit control g to create a group and name it hand control group all right, now this hand control group, I will temporarily parent it to this. Control Z, we have to make sure that the hand control group is selected, not the circle itself, because when you click here, generally the circle gets selected instead of the hand control group. So you need to select the group, shift select the hand and parent it. Okay, and then you have to make this zero. And now the hand moves, the control moves to its original place. That is what we wanted to do. Now, What is this nerve circle group? Alright, so I'm going to ignore that one. So and group shift select this P and make this zero again. Alright. And then now we will 
open this up it's not renamed folder control that one it was this is elbow control this is shoulder control that is what I was confused about all right so now our hand group I'm going to go to edit unparent all right so the group has its transformations and we're not bothered about that but our hand control is at zero 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 okay so now what we do is we select this strip select our IK and go to constraint point and then we select this shift select hand we go to constraint orient and then if orient maintain offset is on so we are back to what we had before and now we are going to use the expression and now here you can see that the rotation now is going to be our x rotation okay so this control is called hand control this joint is called four out so we'll go to window animation editor expression editor and again we'll name it nothing should be selected raised rotate expression which says for arm dot rotate capital X is equal to hand control dot rotate capital X divided by 2 semicolon forearm dot rotate X is equal to hand control dot rotate X divided by 2 create and now when I select this and I rotate it now it is behaving much properly all right so that's how you create your hand rig. You can move this up. This can move sideways. Then you can rotate your arm the way you want it. Okay, and start posing your character. Next class, we will look at how an IK and FK rig behave, and we are going to use uh, this hand to move an object, and then we'll see how uh, an IK rig helps moving an object, whereas the FK rig may not work. However, the FK rig is helpful to create an animation of an arm where it is not interacting with any object. Okay, thank you very much.